Hi everyone. So today I am, we are going to do an applet program. The first initial applet program which will display a message on the window by using an applet. This is a simple first step of an applet program how to do this. So let's start how to do an applet program. So you guys everyone can have a look how to do applet program. Right. So uh, for, uh, next let's go to the how to write the coding. So to write an applet program, first you need to create the package. Pack any package name you can create. The package should uh, uh, name should come according to the uh, uh, package name rules. That is, you should use only the small letters. And if you have other words are there, then you can carry with the words. But the next words, first letter should be capital letter. So package, you have to write the package. It is good to write as a package. And then we needed two things. That is, one is import. We have to use applet. We have to import. Import java.applet. Either you can uh, write this as an app. Either you can write this an applet here. Here you can use this applet over here. This has only one class. That is an applet. And then we need other components like color graphics all these are lying in awt so we should need this awt package also awt also so you need to import two things that is import java.awt and import java.applet these are the two important stuff you need to import it and you guys need to know one thing you should use a display message or any name you can use it and you have to extend the applet. For an applet program, it is compulsory that you need to extend applet. If you don't extend an applet, it won't come. And for an applet program, the, the life cycle of an applet program is four things. That is, ini, start, stop and destroy. That's the life cycle of the applet so you can bring init or start so basically everyone will go for init and here what i'm trying to do is i'm just making the foreground color just making a foreground color with a color dot yellow yellow just bringing a small foreground color small applet i'm bringing that is foreground color i'm making it as color dot yellow so if you wanted any colors to bring as a foreground or a background anywhere, you have to use a class called color. And in that, you pick up the uh, color what you want. I use yellow here. There are so many colors are there. You can use any of these colors here. So, the first point is applet. Second is you have to bring the init. Public, you have to use. We are overriding the method. So, we have to use public. Void, init. There you use some methods, foreground set, foreground method is there that you can use. And in that parameter is color dot yellow. So this is how you have to bring this. And then uh, you there is one more thing we needed here is uh, after this you have to write the next one is public void paint. So this is a normal applet we are doing in that we needed paint is there. And graphics as a parameter you have to use because gra without that it won't draw the string. So you have to use g dot draw string. What you wanted to display there? I want to display welcome to the world of graphics. Well, this is the message I want to display. Welcome to the world of graphics. Where I should display? This is the x axis and y. These are all coming in the points of pixels. So 80, 40 in the point it will draw. In that point it will display the welcome to the world of eclipse. Then close this pane. This is also you are overriding from the applet. So you need to use public, void, paint, graphic. And thus you close it and close the Glass. Okay, that's it. You have to do now. How to do the how to write this code? So let's have a look. Okay, so how to write this code? So I'm going to uh, open my Eclipse. So what I'm going to do is I am open. So basically, when you go for an applet, 
this kind of applet is a normal applet which was there beginning time. So nowadays uh, people are not using this kind of applet. They are going for J applet. So you can't execute these applets in uh, Eclipse 11, Eclipse 30. It will be a lot of complicated pro things will come. So better you go for Mars, J that kind of eclipse you go for it will be easy for that so i have downloaded and kept the mass here this is my eclipse mass in that i am going to i am going to now i am going to uh, execute this mass so that you can see i have created a folder here i'm just creating a folder for uh, applets i'm just creating a folder for java applets so here i'll create and don't uh, check Check the checkbox here. Just do put this because you can create a lot of workspaces here. So just put this and say OK. Now, after that, you have it will come up with a uh, you will open the Eclipse and then you just close this and you have to go to the file, create a project first. File, new and create a project that you just create project as a java project okay and then click on the next just write so this is applet example so i'll give the uh, project name as applet example uh, so anything you can give so what what you have written here you have to see that what i have given here Applet example is the, so I'm going to give it as a project name here. So applet applet programs. Okay, fine. So I'll give the project name as applet programs. Now what I do, I just go ahead and say next step. So I have to go ahead and say next. And I say finish. That's it. So my project folder has been created on the left side. You can see here on the left side the project folder has been created. So now you see, they just click this. You can see two for one is SRT one folder. Another is a library file which is there, which is contain all the library files which is needed for the programs. Now right click in this on the project and go ahead and create package package. So just before that, just go and see that what is the package I have needed here. I need the package called applet example. So use that same package over here. Applet example. So I created the package here and then say finish. That's it. Now I have to click on the package and right click and say new class. So before giving the class name go ahead and see that what is the class name i had given here display message so give the same name here display message hmm? so don't click on the public static void main just select finish okay that's it you can see package, applet, example, public, static. So here what you needed is you are making an applet, right? So you should need extends applet. Extends applet. So you can see there's a red color line is there. For that what you have to do is with the red color line is uh, why this red color because there was an error. So what is the problem here that you need to find out? What is the problem? Here the problem, you can click on the left side of this code window. You can see here. Ah, when you click here, you can understand that will be what we need in import the applet. So just double click this. It will automatically import that applet over there. So then applet has some methods are there which is necessary to override right so the first method we need to use is when you override you should go for public public void init you should use that public init in that what you want to write you write okay so i am setting set for ground so you just make sure your spelling is correct or not you have to make sure if your spelling is not correct 
it will give you error so i can say color dot you can see so many colors are there so right now i'll go and choose any other color One minute. Oh, it's gone. Sorry. Foreground dot. So just use dot. So you can use any color here. You can see a lot of colors are here, right? So in that you use any colors whichever you like it. So, whichever you wanted, like I want red color. So, then use red color also. Not a problem. We dress. Then put semicolon at the end. Now, I wanted background also. You can use set background. That I didn't tell by the code. But you can see right here. Background. Here, you can say it will be a little bit good. If you write background also. Color dot. I say, I say yellow. Yellow. Okay. So, I use yellow color. So, background also done. So, both the things. Now, we only with the init, it doesn't work. So, we need to paint that. According to the applet language, we use the thing called paint. Paint also, we need to override. And paint has a uh, uh, class called graphics. Graphics, you need to use it. And graphics, you just uh, give a variable. And see. So, graphics also showing a red line. You can click on there and see that what is the problem. So, graphics you need to import. That also got imported. Now, graphics you need to draw it. G dot. You can see that something called draw string will be there. Draw string. Draw string. So, use that. So, now I say welcome to the world of graphics welcome to the world of graphics i said and you need you you can tell the x axis also i said the uh, x axis 80 and y axis also so you whenever you give x axis and y axis make sure that the proper uh Point should be proper because otherwise your window will be small and you cannot see that. So, I just give 80 and 40. That's it. Now, finish things. Now, you can see that there's a star button. That doesn't, that means that it doesn't saved. So, you need to give control S. Control S. So, it, it becomes saved. You It has been compiled also. Now, ready for execution. So, how to execute? That's the point. Now, right click this and run as Java applets. Always make sure that applet has to be run as Java applet. So, now you see this. Uh, now, the window, window, you can just drag the window a little more and you can see that. Welcome to the world of graphics. So, this is how an applet has to be run. So, the execution has to be come like this. So, you can see that. Welcome to the world of graphics. So, whenever you have seen right now, right? So, even one more thing you guys have to notice that whenever you do a program, uh, you just uh, write some comment uh, regarding what is that program meant for. So, it is to, this is to display. Display message on the window just just message these are the points you need to know that is a package should be written their comment alignment should be correct in it should be there and whatever you want to write you can write foreground write selected background and paint is also necessary so make sure that applet should be extended in it should be overridden and here simple thing i written that is foreground and the background i bought it and the paint i had overridden and just g dot draw whatever you want to draw there. I drawn there in the x pixel that is 80 and y pixel 40 on that basis. And then save this and right click. Control S is used to save this. Or as you can go here, file, save. 
or controllers, you can use it. And then right click and then you say run as you should go for Java applet. So if the window just drag, you can see that that is printed over here. So you see here, welcome to the world of graphics. This is how the applet has been uh, brought up. So I hope everyone has understood about the applet. So uh, just uh, try it out. Don't try it on Eclipse uh, 11 or uh, 13. It will show you a lot of uh, errors. So and it's better you guys uh, download uh, Eclipse Mars or Eclipse Juno, you know, Luno you know, or so older versions you try it out. So in the older versions, this applet will be running. Because new, new things has been come up since uh, like college, schools, uh, everybody needs applet. This is how you can use the applet. This is how you can run an applet. So I hope you guys understood. Thank you. So you can see uh, how do I run. That way you can uh, run this. So thank you. So we'll see with another program on the next video. Thanks.